Hi and welcome to another video by Jim the Car Guy. Today we have a, a 2009, it's a Chevy Silverado. Uh, the problem we have is that um, the customer drives the car and uh, the truck. Um, the truck will run perfectly for, for months without a problem. All of a sudden he'll be driving along, he'll go to accelerate, the check engine light pops on, and it, the truck goes into what's called a, a limp-in mode to get you, uh, you have no acceleration. Just step on the accelerator and nothing happens. Uh, I scanned it. Um, I did find a code. It was a, a 2138. It was the accelerated pedal position sensor correlation problem. Um, when I drove it and I monitored everything on the scan tool, everything was working perfectly. I cleared the code out of it, looked at all the wiring on it. Everything looked perfect. And, and sent the customer out the door to see if the if the code came back on again. Well, probably six months later, maybe even more than that, the, the same exact thing happened. I cleared the code out of it, I drove it around, I cannot get it to happen again. So instead of taking a chance with it, I did see there's a technical service bulletin regarding an issue with this. Um, I did tell the customer he could take it back to the dealer because I think there's a, there's, a, uh, there's a recall on it, but he chose to just get it repaired today because he wants to get out the door. So I did order a, an accelerator pedal for it, um, and uh, I put it in, and I'm going to show you uh, exactly how to put it in and, and how to, uh, to reset it. And um, so I'm going to show you how to install the, uh, the accelerator pedal. It's a very simple procedure. Basically, yeah, give me one second. Uh, basically what it is, this guy thinks I'm nuts over here. Um, Basically what it is, is it, there's two screws up on top there, there's two Torx screws that, that are in there. You'll take the two Torx screws out, you'll unplug the electrical connector after you take the lock tab out, and uh, then you, uh, you remove the pedal, you put the new one in. I'll bring you underneath there, I'll show you how I did it, and then we're going to take it for a ride, and we're going to make sure this thing runs okay. So, uh, alright, let's take a peek underneath there, I'll show you. Okay. This truck is a bit of a wreck, as you can see. Check it out. You can see it's quite a wreck. Um, this is the old accelerator pedal. It comes as a complete assembly. Get it from the dealer because I already got it once from Dorman's and it's no good. Put it in from Dorman's and it didn't work right from the start. So uh, don't waste your money. Get it from the dealer. I think the dealer was about 10 bucks more. So don't waste your money getting aftermarket, the, the Dorman's or any other brand. That is the accelerator pedal position right here. And, and the, the way you take it out is this little clip right up underneath here. You pop this clip out right here. You push that little button in, and this comes right off. Unscrew this screw here. And there's one more screw up the top right there. I don't know if you can see it, but you're going to take those two out. The pedal comes right off like this. I'll show you. Basically looks just like this. You'll take it off. Reattach those two screws underneath there, plug it back in, and uh, now we're going to take it for a road test just to make sure it's okay. I did start it, and I uh, accelerated it already, and it accelerates properly, so uh, I'll show you. All right, well, as you can see, he's got an airbag issue too, but he chose not to do anything with that either. That's the problem you run into when you work with these commercial vehicles. They're pretty beat up. As you can see, it feels fine. So let's take it out and uh, road test it just to make sure it's good. And uh, we'll see, make sure it's okay. All right, let's take it for a test drive, make sure it's okay. Best part about taking this for a test drive today is it's about 90 degrees out there. And I can check it out with this air conditioner running. So I'm not going to complain about that. Sounds a little noisy because it's a, uh, it's got ladders on the roof of it, as you can see. Okay, we're going to give it back to the customer, and uh, we should be in good shape now. It accelerates nice. 
nice and smooth, no uh, no little hiccups or anything, so that's a good thing. All right, let's get back to the shop and uh, we'll wrap this up. All right, that's it, we're all done. All right, so if you have an intermittent problem with this, like I said, is every six months or so this, this code would pop back up and the guy would have a problem with it, don't play around. The, uh, the, the, uh, the accelerator pedal is, is actually no good. The sensor is actually mounted in there, so we just change the entire assembly. Um, again, that's what it looks like. Um, that's it, you change the whole thing. That's your sensor there, and that's it, we're all done. All right, any questions or comments, or you need any advice on anything, send me an email. I'll be more than happy to, uh, to talk to anybody about anything. As always, thanks for watching. See you in the next one.